Hey guys, what's up? Otaku Mike here, doing another manga haul for you for the month of August. Yes, can you believe it's already August? I can't. So I got a lot of cool stuff for you this time. Some out of print stuff, some new stuff. It's going to be awesome. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing somewhere down, down there. Or over here, I think there's a little square down right there, you know. But it's cool. I love meeting new people and talking about manga and just any kind of dorky thing that's out there. Because we're all dorks, you know? Anyways, let's get into this and find out what kind of manga we got today. Alright, so first up is the Out of Print series that I got. It's only three volumes long. It's not terribly long. This is one that I've been looking for for some time. I found it for a good price. It's an older Viz series, which I was surprised to find. Because, you know, normally sometimes out-of-print manga is a little hard to find. Just saying. Or hard to find or expensive. Like, really expensive. Just saying. But we got a Isekai series uh, by the name of El Hazard, The Magnificent World. If you know of this series, it's a classic. It's fun. It's made by the creators of Tenchi Muyo. This is a volume one we got right there. Check that out. Ooh, I like that old artwork on the back and on the front. So we got volume one. Then we have volume two right there. Look at that. Ooh, yeah. Then last but not least, we have volume three right there look at that oh yeah so this is a um alternate version of the original ova which was seven episodes long which is cool we get a different an alternate take on the original ova which the original ova is actually pretty cool i really like it um my only little tiny gripe is that they're flipped so i read them left to right but, it's not a big deal, you know, because uh, it is older. I love the sizes of these. These sizes are just so cool. I, I just love how big it is. I love it when we get bigger, oversized manga. They're not like Tonkubans. Or little or Tonkubans, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, so let's get in, into it. This next one, um, I did a review on it already. I really enjoyed this first volume. It's also an isekai, and that is Skeleton Knight in Another World. If you have not checked this out, and you want to get into an isekai, this is probably a really good isekai to get into, especially if you're into, like, RPGs or video games. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Go check it out, and I hope you will enjoy it. You know, it's cool. Alright, so this next one is another isekai. I was... On the fence on whether or not I was going to get this, but I decided to because I hear it gets really interesting because it's an isekai about a relationship. Um, you know, this guy, in the, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about The Idol Sponger Life of Volume 2. This is actually a really, really fun series. I can't wait to read Volume two because they get into some really interesting stuff there's some of the artwork right there if you don't know what it's about it's about a guy who gets transported to another world um well he no he doesn't get transported he willingly goes to this world and um he has to marry this queen and they have to have a child so basically he tries to have a relationship with this woman and they have to conceive an heir so he basically Gets to be a sponge, basically. Uh, he gets to just live around and, you know, it's really interesting. Go check it out. It's a lot of fun. If you want to get into a, like, relationship or romance isekai, which I don't see many of, this is a lot of fun. Alright, so the next one, I actually, I've been wanting to get the second volume of this for quite some time. And I got the third volume as well, and it finally came... Um, in stock on Right Stuff. Uh, and I got The Elder Sister Like One Volume 2 and 
Volume 3 of The Elder Sister. If you don't know what this is about, this is a sort of like, it's sort of like a, um, almost slice of life, maybe romance mixed in with like horror, because it's about this guy who finds a, uh, like Cthulhu type demon, which is this woman right here, in his uh, uncle's basement and he's like very lonely because none of his family like wants him around and he's like all I want is a sister and she becomes his sister which is very weird you get some very creepy like interesting stuff that happens within this series um, it's crazy and I get a really creepy eerie vibe from it which is int I like and I'm interested to see where this goes because I wonder if she has any ulterior motives and I wonder if something really bad is gonna happen just saying because she is a Cthulhu monster after all I forget which monster she actually is but she's one of the Cthulhu like monsters I don't remember which one all right so next we have yet another isekai and this one is based on a light novel I have yet to read it but it's about a um I think it's about a guy who gets reincarnated as a wolf or dog it's called wolf wolf story i told you to turn me into a pampered pooch not Fenrir. this looks so much fun i i, I um flipped through it a little bit and it looks like it's going to be a fun interesting ride i can't wait to get a hold of it i mean the title says it all um can we stop already <laughs> with the long names for the titles. I mean, come on. Why can't it just be Wolf Wolf Story instead of Wolf Wolf, I told you to turn me into a pampered pooch, not Fenrir. I mean, come on. That's a mouthful. Just saying. All right, so this next one I got, I got it from Right Stuff. It is, I got Parasite Volume 1. This is the exclusive. I've read a little bit of it. Not bad so far. Uh, I've enjoyed what I've read. I read the first couple chapters, but it's not bad. About a guy who gets a parasite in his arm, and he can make cool blade things and whatnot. You know, a lot of people know what parasite is because it's kind of popular. But I've never read it, and I hope it's going to be good. And then next we have the last two. We have this one actually became an anime, and I'm super excited to watch the anime as well. But this is a fun series about a alternate take on pre-World War, not World War, pre-Civil War, or is it post, no, post-Civil War, um, and it, that is To the Abandoned Sacred Beast, Volume 8. This series is top-notch and a lot of fun. If you want a lot of action, this has a lot of action in it with monsters and stuff. Then last but not least, we have one that I've actually been waiting for quite a bit. Um, I um, think it's kind of like a fucked up version of like Common Rider or something like that, but it's really cool. Um, we have Opossums Volume 3. Um, this has been a really fun series and I've really enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait to read this and I can't wait to read more. It's like a post apocalyptic world where these people, these people have these like exoskeleton suits. It just reminds me so much of, like, Kamen Rider. It's crazy. And it's, the artwork is just, like, it's freaking, like, awesome. Like, here's some of the artwork. Like, that's what it looks like. I mean, incredible, incredible artwork. Anyways. Ah, uh, I'll show you again. This is all the manga that I got for this month. Hopefully I will do reviews and first impressions on some of these. Thank you for watching. I'm Otaku Mike. Comment down below if you have read any of these and you enjoy or you dislike any of these books. Please tell me. Remember, always subscribe, like, you know, do whatever you want if you're new to the channel. Peace out, guys. Comment down below.